another woods, something different. So we're going to show you a bit of this camp tomorrow. It's getting a bit late and I get thirsty. So I think I'm going to start with an early beer tree. Oh yes. So there's the beer tree. Pretty cool. Oh yes, the beer tree. Then tonight, I'm not drinking all of that. I'm going to save some for another night tomorrow. I don't want to drink it all or else I'm going to be on my back. It would be funny for you guys, but not for me. So there's none that I've got from my normal group of beers because I've drunk them all. But I've got some wingmen, or wingman. I've got a trooper of goblin gold. Live pipes off. So, there we go. Yes, in the box. The box of tricks. I've got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby. There we go. 11th anniversary. If you're not tried Trooper, where have you been in all these 11 years? Good stuff. Oh yes, nice and tasty that. So everybody's gone to bed. It's just me and the fire. And it's just chilling out and burning down nicely. There's all this brickwork around here, which I think is quite effective. Slightly different to the other camp. And you'll notice that the ground is different. I don't know if I showed you the ground at the other camp, but this is all sand-based. So, it's less likely to flood. There's one reason we're at this camp and not the other one, is because the other camp still flooded out. So the other community camp, we can't stay there in a minute. It's all waterlogged. So, this is a different sort of camp, and that's the reason why we're here. So I started this fire from nothing, which you saw a minute ago, to that. Just by blowing a few of them coals, it just shows you can do it. So I know you could do it if you went, and if you tried. So, anybody says you can't start a fire from nothing, you know you can. So all I did is put one piece of wood there, no more than that, and blew that up. This bit of fire here, moved that over there, and done. What a cracky night's sleep. Got a bit of cramp in night, but that didn't last very long. Sometimes I get that. Then if anybody has that, do you ever get cramp sometimes in a hammock? But to be fair, it was, it was short-lived. But after that, or during that, I don't remember, <laughs> had a fantastic sleep. Anyway was set up so just dropped some bungees there got a line and a bungee there and I've used my microclimate a little carpet a lovely and set up, got all my gear there, so I've got pretty organised this time, not normally that organised, but I've got all my gear over that side. And all down there, look. So anybody knows me, this hammock is the DDXL, but I don't like to put the, and I know it's against the grain, but I don't like to put the loops in, but I'll bring them with me just in case. I tend to just like it stringed out, because, but each their own. I know it's controversial, but I like to make it my own, my own thing. End of the day, a hammock's a hammock to me. It's a good hammock and I got it from somebody at the camp and I don't know if you saw it the last time I first put it up a lot easier this time but uh, I had a bit of a play around I'll show you around here and keep the wind out and just because I wanted to have a play with it anyway Okay, here's my netting.
pretty cool. Set, although it's not a traditional breakfast, I had some chips last night. Chips before we came into camp. So I didn't need a lot to eat. So this wasn't going to be my breakfast. It is now. It is. Andy, breakfast, yes. Right, we're going to go for a bit of a walk. See what we can find. Bone dry here. It's all this sand in the natural soil. Considering how much rain we've got, apparently this place doesn't get a lot of moisture. Well, it gets moisture, that's probably a wrong thing, but it doesn't get flooded or anything like that because the sand just absorbs all the water fantastic completely different to some places I've been to including the camp that I normally go to so that's another reason why we're here because our camp that we're doing at the moment has been sorted out because of all the floods but we will be going back there eventually very very pretty place this tree squeaking over there that's a proper widow maker waiting to happen kids dens it's a massive woodland this goes on for absolutely ages fantastic Take some back to leave some for anyone else. But Do you know what it is? No. I've, not seen, I've never seen this grow in a birch before. Leave some behind, I'll take this and dry it out. Yeah. Don't know why it is, but it's quite nice. So, loads of strips of birch bark. Trying to get the ones with the pink horseshoe fungus, which will dry out. I know about that little bit there, but it should be okay. Now, interesting enough, people would walk past that and think, that's wet, why would you use it? But it's not that wet. Now, a lot of this, punk wood you can simply break off or cut into the fire and it makes very very good firewood so if you're not sure and you see that and you think mm, that's just a bit of broken wood and no this is quite ideal as long as it's not too soggy and this one isn't doesn't matter if it's a little bit damp because that will dry out so dry it out and then it'll break off and you can cut it there's a tip for you don't discount punk wood. Some is useful, as long as it's not too soggy. Andy. To pick up the ramen one of these, I saw that on the shelf. Now, I've never had one of this brand, and this seems to be a vegan one. Some kind of replacement for chicken, maybe. But it looks nice. Let you know, Andy. 
No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that, that's not it, that's not it, that's not. This is the Aqualite terrain. Um, Pagan's just got, and he's going to use it at some point. So he's just having a play around with it. It's not going to use it today, but it's the first time I set up in it, Craig. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so we're just going to see how I'm going to get on with it. So, this bridge that was here. Okay, that we made or improved, should you say, was originally was only one piece of birch bark, literally one piece. So what we've done, okay, and I think we're really satisfied with it. What we did was got three other pieces of birch bark, so there's three other three other logs, sorry, three logs, okay, under there, and then. What we did is we put some soil in between it and packed it down and then moss on top. So now you stand on this and it's perfectly safe. And the brilliant thing about this stuff is if we've been moss, eventually, hopefully, that will start to grow into the wood and pack down. That's the theory anyway. What do you reckon, Bernard? Amazing. We did a good job. So how long did it take us, do you reckon? Hour, hour and a half. An hour and a half. So it literally is just one. There was just literally one in the middle. And then all we did is just put soil over the top and packed it down in moss. And now there's three of them and some moss. Like the Royal Engineers. Epic Andy. So, got the selections of beers for the night. Two hobgoblins, pints of. Three cans of Wingman. Already started opening this one. So, this is a session ale, I think. Might be wrong. But it's a brew dogs one. The Eagle has landed. Wasn't that a film? Yes, it was. For those who know. It's not bad, I wouldn't say it's brilliant. It's just okay, it's okay. Trying to decide. It's, it's not too strong, it's got a little bit of bite behind it. That's a slurper. I could be your man, wingman. I could be your wingman. That's what they did in Top Gun. Oh yes. I've got a cat named Maverick. My cat is named Maverick. So my Maverick, I could be his wingman. There we go. Thanks for watching the beer tree. Thank you. Lovely.